Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Elliott, the Marketing Lead for CIS Infrastructure and Modern Work. Today we are going to go over the Cloud Adoption Framework, also known as CAF, to highlight the value and where it fits in the cloud journey. With cloud computing becoming the new normal, organizations are looking for a proven cloud adoption strategy to transform their digital processes. Here are some pain points that our clients typically have that can help you identify the need for a cloud adoption framework, such as we don't know where to start. We are not fully positioned to embrace the cloud. There is a lack of alignment between cloud systems and business goals. And finally, we don't know how to control costs. Now to combat these pain points, we can start to look at the value that cloud adoption framework provides. It accelerates cloud adoption journey, provides a solid framework to scale, aids in the corporate IT roadmap planning, and aligns business and IT organizations. The goal of the cloud adoption framework is to guide organizations on their business and technology strategies for success in the cloud. Our approach provides best practices, documentation, and tools for cloud architects, IT professionals, and business decision makers. We want to understand the foundational elements for the beginning of the client's journey and the adoption of best practices and frameworks to create a modern infrastructure strategy. Here's an overview of the building blocks that are included in the cloud adoption framework such as network, security, tagging, architecture, just to name a few. Now, why should organizations choose Nudesic? We have a proven repeatable IP to help our organizations in their cloud lifecycle. And we wanna let our clients know that Nudesic is a top tier Microsoft partner and we have full alignment, which brings me to my next slide. We've aligned all of our offerings to the way Microsoft sells and funds and can meet our clients wherever they are in the cloud journey. For clients that are very new to Azure and are looking to get their bearings on what the cloud is, we offer the cloud adoption framework workshop. The natural next step would be moving to an AFA to get a broader view of their environment, the Azure migration engagement to ultimately drive data center migrations, or app innovation engagement for organizations who know which apps they would like to migrate. Ultimately, as a result of these engagements, our end goal is to lead them to a migration and modernization where we can leverage AMP funds for our Nudesic migration factory. Next, I'll have Richard Sedlak, our National Director for Cloud Infrastructure Services, walk you through the Cloud Adoption Framework Workshop and the initial engagement. Thank you, Lauren. I'm gonna walk you through the two different workshops that are part of CAF. The first is the strategy and plan workshop. This workshop focuses on the very beginning of the customer's cloud journey. The goal is to produce a cloud adoption plan that further guides the client's journey. The participants that we expect are the leaders of the client's organization for the business and technical groups. The major sessions are strategy and planning, where we're looking at their desired business outcomes, business case, and project prioritization. The next session would be readiness, migration, and innovation. Here we'll focus on the setup guidance, landing zone recommendations, and best practices. And then the session after that is the governance and management. During these sessions, we'll spend time on current IT environments, identifying risk, and then defining those compliance requirements that the business requires. Whereas the strategy and plan workshop focuses on the early part of the customer's journey, the ready and govern workshop focuses on the core cloud services and deployment of landing zones, along with establishing governance policies. This is where the customer's vision can be realized. Here we expect the different IT teams to participate in the building of the environment and establishing the controls. You can see on the slide the different teams that will engage. The major sessions for this are 
subscription and access. We'll talk about the architecture of the subscription, management, and security groups. We'll talk about the cloud ownership and span of control. In networking and cost control, in that session, we focus on the network architecture as well as Azure tagging practices and reporting. And then finally, in monitoring and business continuity or disaster recovery, during these sessions, we'll spend time on monitoring and alerting. We'll also do the backup planning and gather the necessary disaster recovery requirements. Next, I'm going to discuss our approach as it pertains to the CAF timeline. This timeline demonstrates the entire duration if both types of workshops are being executed. Separately, the different sessions should take around two weeks of effort and duration. In strategy and plan, the first week focuses on the strategy planning and cloud readiness goals on a higher level. The second week details migration, innovation, governance, and management. For ready and govern, the first week of that focuses on subscription architecture, access tagging, and cost controls, while the second week gathers the networking, monitoring, and business continuity, including any disaster recovery. Further weeks contain design implementation, deployment, and validation. Thank you for your time. If you have any further questions, you can feel free to reach out to either of us or anyone else listed on this slide. We'll also respond to messages in the infrastructure pillar channel under the CIS team in the Teams application.